With another two weeks added to the lockdown in the county, we'll be chatting to some of the local businesses here in East Town on how they are coping with the restrictions and hear what they have to offer to customers and what to expect in the future post-COVID-19. But first, we speak to Sinn Féin's Norkel Dare TD, Rada Cronin, who is opening her new clinic on Chapel Lane here in Nace and her input on the current crisis. Rada, how are businesses struggling in this pandemic? Well, Deborah, I think small businesses in, in across North Kildare feel that they are the ones who are bearing the brunt for the actions and the work practices mm -hmm. in big businesses um, mm -hmm. the meat the meat factories mm -hmm. and that and they feel that they after following all the regulations and following all the guidelines and you, you know you know what when you go into any shop across Nace you know they have the sanitizer by the door there's the the limit of people mm -hmm. allowed into a shop and they're following all the, those rules and regulations and they feel that they're t bearing the brunt of you know, the, the lack of oversight in, in mm -hmm. the meat factories and yeah. the lack of bad work practices and living conditions. And have you been approached by the smaller businesses? I have. Well, I approached a lot myself. I went I went around, um, I did a walkabout around Nace, uh, Salons, Maynooth, Selbridge, Big Slip, Plain, and, you know, spoke to businesses myself. And it's the small family businesses mm -hmm. that are really suffering. And can I just say to you, Deborah, that in stark contrast to the way that um, the big businesses and you know I was up at the COVID committee um, hearing there questioning the meat industry island mm -hmm. and in sharp contrast to the way that they treated their workers every small business owner spoke to me about their employees and about the anxieties yeah. that they have and the fact that they have mortgages to pay they have back to school expenses mm -hmm. now and you know, the concern, it was just, you know, stark, the contrast yeah. between their concern for their employees and the lack of concern for employees in, yeah. you know, big businesses. Rita, are you excited about coming to NACE? Very excited about coming to NACE. I used to work in NACE. Oh. And yes, yeah, and I have a lot of friends in NACE as well as a result. So um, I'm really looking forward to being here in NACE. Absolutely, well, yeah. well, I'm sure the NACE people are going to be happy that you're and here And they have as been, well. yeah. They're yeah. lovely. It's great. Rita, thank you so much for taking time out in your busy busy schedule for this interview today thank you very much deborah thank, thank you and please note radis office will remain closed until restrictions are lifted now earlier i spoke with larry swan who is the owner of swans in the green and how the current lockdown is affecting his family run business so obviously it was uh, the initial uh, lockdown was a huge uh, setback for us um, something that we couldn't have coped with on our own we needed the full support of our very loyal staff and they weren't found wanting in this situation. Um, we, we, we trade in the morning from 6.30 till 8 o'clock at night. So obviously we had two teams on and we had to completely revamp our business, remodel our business as I've already said. Um, the element of outside catering, outside food area to sit down was completely reduced in this latest lockdown. And it's had a detrimental effect obviously on our business. But we have to do whatever is necessary to get rid of this virus and to comply with all of the protocols. Also our loyal customer base thank thankfully have kept supporting us. We're one of the last of the few family businesses within the town and we're very grateful for all the people that have supported us during the lockdown and will hopefully will continue to do so. Also in that vein um, we're, very, we're very grateful to Kildare County Council under the uh, LEO, the local enterprise board, for all of the various uh, help and uh, advice that they were, they, ha they employed a team of experts in every area, marketing, finance, sales, etc., to help and support businesses to get back up and running and to iron out any creases that were found in their business or to remodel their business, to remodel their business totally if it was necessary. So obviously when COVID arrived, in, arrived initially, we had to, as I already said, remodel our business. Now the sit-down element of our business was totally obsolete. It's now the focus is totally on takeaway sales. So you get your, your same food is available from half six in the morning to eight o'clock at night. Uh, you could come in, but now the, the, the complete difference for us and for the customer experience was that it's now in a takeaway format. It's proved very successful. Uh, we've kept uh, all of the standard uh, items that we were available within our deli that people were so confident about and they enjoyed so much. So we're in trying to enhance that business at all times and it's the way, it's the direction we have to go at this point in time in order to stay in the game and keep improving our offering. 
and we wish Larry and the team the very best of luck going forward. Now we go over to Joanne Brambury, who is the co-owner, along with her husband, of Las Rada Tapas restaurant here on New Row. So on Friday, uh, when the news broke of the uh, second wave as such of COVID uh, closures, um, the cancellations started coming in. So we lost 50% of our bookings for that Friday night. Um, we had obviously had a lot of stock, a lot of food stock, a lot of uh, beer and wine stock that we had ordered in. Um, and we had to close immediately um, that night with the loss of business. Um, we lost all our business for that weekend. If we had have been allowed to open even just until the Sunday, um, you know, we would have been able to get through the stock. Um, we just we're very disappointed with the way that um, it it was immediate. I suppose I do understand that, um, like the COVID, what it does to people and uh, how immediately that we have to uh, act upon it. But I just feel like from the hospitality industry, um, the weekend is our busiest time and um, I don't think the government just really thought that out enough. Um, the meat factories were still allowed to open but like we had to close immediately on that Friday. So we've been very fortunate that we've been able to avail of the uh, wage subsidy scheme. Um, so for these two weeks we will be able to maintain um, our staff but unfortunately if it continues any longer than the two weeks, if the closure continues, we, uh, we will have to look at uh, some temporary layoff again, which we did have to do in the first round. Um, we have 20 staff in total, um, plus myself and my husband. Um, so during the first uh, COVID closure, we were down to one. We only employed one staff member. Um, we don't want to have to go back to that again. Uh, we have a lot of young staff as well. Um, who are the future of, of, of NACE and NACE Town and we, we really feel for them because that is, um, it's, it's their, it's going to be their problem down the road. We are open uh, Wednesday through to Sunday with um, a delivery and collection service. Um, we open at 3 p.m. for uh, collection and delivery. Our delivery is through the QIQ app. Uh, collection, you can ring in to uh, Keat on 045-879-978. You can view our menus on our website um, at lasrada.ie menu takeaway. We also have a tapas box available. Uh, this is a cold box that you can finish off at home. It's very easy, there's instructions with it. Um, it's a two course meal with a dessert. Um, we also provide um, cocktails ready to go, we've wine and we've beer as well. And we are delighted to say that Las Rada are now taking bookings for the outdoor street dining area, with weather permitting of course. Now our final stop takes us to Daly's Pharmacy, where Deborah asked Pharmacist Dervla about the normal flu vaccine and what they offer to the people of Nace during the lockdown. Uh, Dervla, are people concerned about the latest lockdown here in Nace? They definitely are. I would say what we see here in Daly's Pharmacy is yeah. probably more with the elderly patients. They yeah. are very concerned. Um, there yeah. is a level of fear out there, fear of the virus, fear of getting ill. I suppose then the ultimate fear that, that they may die. Yeah. Um, they aren't coming out. A lot of our patients are still cocooning. Um, I had a young man in here today. He was mm -hmm. collecting a blister pack for his grandmother. Yeah. Um, I asked after his grandmother, how's she doing? Oh, I know. Um, yeah. she said, he said she hadn't left the house for four months. Oh, bless. Which I found very difficult to hear. I understand why people are co cocooning, but it has to be affecting the elderly patients. Yeah. Now, we do a delivery service here. Brilliant. Be it on a weekly or monthly basis. Yeah. Um, so it's nice to see them maybe once a week or once a month and have yeah. that chat at the doorstep. Um, and they will keep you chatting, but it's lovely. You oh, might be bless. the only person they've seen that week. Yeah. Um, another question, are you doing flu vaccines as normal this year? Yes, flu vaccines as normal. We'll, we will be rolling out our flu vaccination program in late September probably. Um, and we will be strongly encouraging our community of NACE to get their flu vaccine. Definitely get the flu vaccine. Now it is the flu vaccine as against the COVID vaccine. Okay. Um, but the more people that get it, it will help protect our hospitals from overcrowding Crowding. with the influenza. Um, and remembering it's free 
free of charge for a large proportion wow. of people That's so brilliant. anyone over 65 anyone with certain underlying conditions yes and this year for the first time in Ireland um, it is recommended for children aged 2 to 12 wow. again free of charge wow and it is a nasal spray not an injection which is great because brilliant. little kiddies wouldn't like the I know. Dervla, can you tell us about your vitamin range, please? Okay, so we have a full vitamin range here in Daily Farm Daily's Pharmacy. and um, We have a brand new range in for children called yeah. the Aya range. It's only been launched on the market. They have a fantastic multivitamin, all the, all the minerals, mm -hmm. um, all the vitamins in it. It's a, a crunchy one with a lovely blackcurrant flavour, so lovely for the kids. Um, vitamin D, obviously, for children and adults mm -hmm. is really, really important. Yeah. It boosts the immune system, um, so will help fight off those winter bugs or indeed mm -hmm. COVID if somebody comes in contact with it and um, also vitamin C and zinc we have a great product a redoxin product mm -hmm. that carries both of those um, and that is again proven to improve um, the immune system that's brilliant thank you so much Dervla. well that's all from these talks if you want to get in touch regarding future videos please use any of the information coming up on the screen thank you <laughs>